1,500 middle school and high school students and their teachers from the city's public schools saw The Lion King on Broadway for free. It's part of a long-running program that had to be suspended for two years because of the pandemic. Now that Broadway is back in business, so is this introduction to theater, and that's why there were so many school buses outside the Minskoff Theater this afternoon. And that is where our entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is today. Sandy? Hi, Sandra. Hi, Mike. Just a few minutes ago during Lee's uh, weathercast, there was a flood of people and enthusiasm was high as they left the Lion King. The enthusiasm that frankly can only come when young people have just seen their first Broadway show two and a half hours for free. It's enough to reaffirm your faith in the power of live theater. Experiencing Disney's The Lion King in all of its wonder through the eyes of New York City middle school and high school students. I was just utterly shocked on like, I didn't expect like Broadway to be this great. The costumes and the visuals were like amazing. It's there and you can feel connected to it. It's amazing. They came courtesy of the Theater Development Fund, TDF. The nonprofit organization is most famous for its Times Square booth, offering discount tickets. But the group also finds other ways to make Broadway shows available to as many people as possible. The thing that I miss the most during the pandemic and that I'm the most looking forward to is being back in the theater with 1,500 students when they go to their very first Broadway show. The long-running show the students are seeing today is an ideal way to discover the magic of Broadway, says one of the teachers who brought it. These students grew up on Disney. They have seen The Lion King. They love The Lion King. So what better way to introduce them to theater than to take them to a show that they already love and see actors bring it to life on stage in real time. Disney theatrical president Tom Schumacher has long worked to attract more diverse audiences here. We literally plant dreams, dreams in their head of fantasy, but also dreams of possibilities. And all involved are getting the next generation of theatergoers excited about going to Broadway. Blew me out of the water. Like, it was really cool to see it, like, all so close to you, and it's live, you know? So it's not like if it's like they mess up, they can just redo it. So it's, like, so cool to see, like, how much, how good it is. Didn't Caleb just put it perfectly? Caleb Smith, and we should tell you The Lion King is from Disney Theatrical, owned by the same parent company as ABC7. This theater behind me will welcome families on Sunday to another TDF event that is autism friendly. Part of the TDF effort to bring more diversity to Broadway. And by the way, the larger message, Broadway is back. Reporting live from the Theater District, I'm Sandy Kenyon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Can't you tell I'm excited? Yes, you get to have all the fun, Sandy. Thank you very much. <laughs>